Right, I have an excellent new tool to show you today and it's the ES121 motion control electronic screwdriver. And the ES121 is an upgrade of the ES120 screwdriver. This one has higher torque and a faster speed. And from the outset I'd just like to say that many people when they review this type of screwdriver have a complete misconception of what the screwdriver was meant for. And I've actually seen reviews where people are comparing it with ordinary cordless type screwdrivers like this or trying to undo Loctite screws with it and then saying that it hasn't got enough torque and this is where they are totally wrong. And I say that because this actual screwdriver is what I would call a masterpiece in engineering and it has been designed and made for a specific purpose. And that purpose is for quickly stripping down or reassembling any component or device that has very small screws. And that is evident by the size of the bits that are supplied with it. It's not supplied with large bits like this which go with the cordless type screwdrivers. It's supplied with jeweler's type size screwdriver bits. So like I say, if it's used for its intended purpose, like stripping down phones, tablets, cameras, and any other item like that, then this is one of the best screwdrivers I've ever seen. So it takes standard size four millimeter hexagon bits, and they go in there and stick to a rare earth magnet which is very strong and keeps them in place nicely. It has a micro USB port at the back here for charging. The charging time is 45 minutes and the running time is 30 minutes at full power. It has a 300 milliamp lithium ion battery inbuilt. The rotor is a bi-directional overrunning clutch. The gearbox is a 164th integrated planetary gearbox and that's why it's got nice high torque. The motor is a 25,000 RPM brush motor and the main chip is STM32. The sensor is an angular velocity sensor. And the main body construction is 304 stainless steel. And the operation of the toll is absolutely fantastic. Press the on button here for the display to come on. Hold that button in and then it's a rotation of your hand to make it go clockwise. Rotation to the left for anti-clockwise. And it has five different programs. I've got it set on program A. So what I can do with that is I can start the screwdriver, but I can also control the rotation RPM by just rotating my hand. And you can do that both ways. And the display shows what program I've got it in. There's a small A on the screen there at the moment. And it's very straightforward to get into the program mode. It's three presses on the actual button here, three quick presses. And then you have the different programs, one, two, three, four, and A. 
and you just press the same button again to go through those until you select which program you want. I've got it set in A, then just leave it and it's set. And like I say, it's absolutely fantastic for taking apart things like cameras with their tiny screws. Um, if the screw is tight and there wasn't enough torque to undo it first, the screwdriver is designed to actually undo the screw first and that has the highest torque, it's um, 30 kgf cm and then the actual um, torque of the electronic device is 1.5 kgf cm so that's one thing to remember a lot of people will say oh there's not enough torque to undo a screw on this item and it is because the screwdriver is designed to be first used manually and then continue with the rotation to take the screw out and then the screw stays on the end of the bit there because of the magnetism and it's really quick to actually take things apart and you can imagine if that camera had loads and loads of those little screws you could go around those screws and take them out really quickly and again for reassembly you can actually put the screw on the end of the bit like that and then start the screwdriver and take it in and there's various different torque settings uh, obviously when you're screwing into plastic you have to sometimes be careful you don't strip the plastic threads and like I say there's torque settings on those programs as well So like I say, I think it's an absolutely fantastic piece of kit. It's, like I say, made of 304 stainless steel. When you actually pick it up, you can feel the weight of it and you can feel that it's really good quality. And looking and judging by its appearance and finish, you can actually see that in the workmanship. And the company that actually make this electronic screwdriver make various other um, brilliant tools as well. They make a fully programmable soldering iron which is fully portable and runs off of a battery and that one's got some exceptional reviews and I should have that one soon to show you and see how it works. And all these tools are really great um, if you have certain hobbies like radio controlled models or whatever. They're great for actually taking around being so small but also really useful in the way that they work. So to sum it up and put everything into perspective, if you want to buy flat pack furniture and put that together with a cordless screwdriver, then don't buy this one. Get one of these and the bits to go with it and the torque settings to actually drive those bits and screws. But if you want a high quality cordless screwdriver or electronic screwdriver to take down small electronic components or any other item that has small screws then this is one of the best screwdrivers I have ever seen and used and I would actually fully recommend it for that purpose which it was designed for And when you buy a tool like this, don't think that you're actually limited to the bits that are made for it. You can actually make your own bits. I've made this small pin chuck here, which takes an ordinary small chuck, but it can also take a small collet chuck. And this is absolutely excellent for very small drilling work that you would actually do with a pin chuck. And in the coming video, I'll show you how I made this pin chuck assembly on the Chinese mini lathe.